Hi, I'm John Nerrill, and I want to thank you for downloading the free offer, The Top 5 Qualities of Amazing Leaders. Along with the guidebook, this video is designed to provide a little further explanation around why I've identified these qualities as the top five. The questions are there for you to reflect and think about, and whether you choose to write about them, talk about them with a colleague, or simply think about on your own, it is simply there for you to do with whatever you so choose. But know that I hope that these questions and these qualities churn up something for you as you think about where you're at along your leadership and your career journey. So let's get started. Number one, know your craft. Amazing leaders are experts in their field. They bring their technical and content expertise to the table each and every day. And the reason they're able to do it is because they have the experience to back it up. They're the people who walk the walk and they talk the talk. They've done the work. And so because they've done that work, they're reliable. They're a valid resource to work with their teams and their organizations as they step up and lead each and every day. Number two, always remember that people are your biggest asset. You know, how many times have we heard that people leave bad jobs because of bad managers? Amazing leaders make a connection with the people on their team. They show an investment. They show a genuine professional care and concern about developing their talent and moving them towards something greater, that next opportunity, whatever that might be. But amazing leaders never forget that without people, they don't have an organization. And that people allow the organization to meet its goals. But it's that connection. And amazing leaders make that connection with their team each and every day. Now, number three is know what you don't know. And if you remember back to number one, where I said, know your craft, well, this actually partners up with it because even experts don't know everything. But experts know what they don't know. And when they acknowledge what they don't know, they're able to find that information from someone or some other resource. And when they know what they don't know, there's a humility. There's, a, there's an understanding there that, you know what, I don't know everything, but I have the skills and the tools and the resources to figure that out because that's going to help me make the decision that I need to make. And that ties in with number four. Number four is what I call listen, lean in, and step forward. In the listening stage, amazing leaders are gathering information. They're getting really curious. They're asking questions so they can make the most informed decision they can. And in gathering that information as they listen, they're then able to start to lean in. You know, leaning in is the phase where you start thinking that you may want to move in a certain direction. You test the waters. You see whether or not it's the right move or the right fit. You start gathering feedback. And when you've leaned in and you've tested the water, so to speak, it allows you to do the last step, which is to step forward. That is the action step, the execution step, the step where an amazing leader moves forward with their decision based on the information that they've gathered. It is how they show up competently and confidently in the workplace. And lastly, number five, be a living example of your core values. There are dozens of core values that people lead with each and every day. And people don't lead with just one, but two or three probably really close to them. Identifying a core value is what's in here. It is what sits in your gut or in your heart about how you show up and act each and every single day. For some, the core value is profitability. 
let's make this organization make as much money as it possibly can because that's going to allow us to get more business, to work with more people, to provide more jobs, to employ more people, and pay them the compensation they deserve. For others, it's about a connection. It's about connecting with the work and the people on their team so they get to move that work forward. What's your core value? What's the core value that you resonate with the most? And if you were to go and ask the people on your team, would they identify the same core value? Amazing leaders lead and demonstrate that core value each and every day. And their team and the people they work with know it. They're able to describe it. A core value is predictable. You know what you're going to get. And so I truly encourage you to think about what your core value is. And I've designed a worksheet in the back of this download to help you with that. You'll find your core values leadership worksheet in the back with some examples of core values and an opportunity for you to simply select a few and walk through a series of questions that help you identify and connect with what that core value actually means for you and for your work. So again, the top five are know your craft. Always remember that people are your biggest asset. Know what you don't know. Listen, lean in, and step forward. And lastly, be a living example of your core values. As you go through the guidebook, if you have any questions that come up for you, or you want to share an aha or an insight or a thought, I would love to hear from you. So feel free to email me or contact me or connect with me on LinkedIn and share with me an example of what it is that you connected with about this guidebook. I look forward to hearing from you and know that I wish you the most success along your leadership and career journey. Be well.